We're in the end game now. Bro boy. Bro boy. Bro. Swan Vice, what's going on? Alex Jones came back onto the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Highlight of the week, the year, amongst all the other crazy things that happened that day alone. Michael Cohen testimony, second time Trump, and uh, Kim Jong Un and North Korea dude met. It was a hectic day, but the internet is undefeated. Alex Jones comes back on the Joe Rogan podcast after like a two year hiatus and then all the other issues that occurred with him with a Sandy Hook, with the um, other kind of conspiracies, his image and and aligning with Trump so and so and it was glorious it was phenomenal it was the most needed thing to happen a little background on Alex Jones is he's a um, radio personality a filmmaker based out of Texas who's got like a like a over two decade history of covering conspiracies and other news stories that are under the mainstream appeal and has built up like this massive following since then and then within the last five to seven years has really blown up thanks to the platforms off of YouTube, off of Facebook, MySpace back in the day, and then more current stuff. And then as recently as within the last year, issues specifically with his Sandy Hook comments he was making got him deplatformed throughout the major companies, the Facebooks, Instagram, Twitters, and just having him based on his own his uh, website. It cut to a couple months of miscommunications with Rogan Podcast and his show, they came back on and it was everything and more you could want from that, sh that podcast. It's, it's known, JRE Show is this plethora of knowledge, information, different types of personalities that come on, people, experiences, and not really since the last time they had a podcast together has there been like just that, that ridiculous energy, ridiculous amounts of news and everything he talked about from human pig hybrids consciousness to Eddie Bravo choking him out or wanting to get choked out by Eddie Bravo. Substantial now. And it was a four hour, almost five hour podcast, which is regular podcast, like two to three max on that, on that channel. I still have so much to absorb of it personally. I've seen like 15 different clips. Want to make them comfortable. We highly recommend just anyone just watching that. And surprisingly, given Alex Jones's status right now, deplatformed, that video, the, the entire podcast, once it was officially uploaded, uh, as I've last checked, like two and a half million views in a day, which easily is available to be on the trending of YouTube. And noticeably, it was not. Easily, with two and a half million, that's at least top 10, top five, top three trending. But given the status, very interesting to think about. So many memes already, so more, much more highlights to come out of it. So much fun, apple juice, tobacco. If you understand it, you understand it. It makes me think, like everyone else in the comments, you should bring this dude back. Bring this dude back on a, on a, onto the platforms little by little. He's obviously gone through his issues and his alignments, but he, he may, you know, he cleared up the air as much as he could in his own way. Overall, you know he's like a personality. That's, it's a character in a sense. He has a lot of good information and interesting topics. And as well as it's just he presents it in such a grandiose way that he's a fun man. That's really what I can say. He is what he is. He would say, he said it. He said it constantly on the podcast. I'm human. I'm not perfect. And I think it's about time to really get him back on the air, man. We Everyone deserves a chance to speak. Crazy, informative, good, bad, ridiculous male vitality. We need that as much as possible. Swamp Vice, keep your records. Keep your aggression, keep your consciousness ruthless. Peace. Levitate, 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 levitate.